They said it was crazy until thousands of goats prevented wildfires in ways no machine or firefighter ever could. In the face of escalating wildfire threats, a surprising and eco-friendly solution has emerged in a handful of regions, goat grazing. This documentary explores how goats are transforming wildfire prevention, the science and strategy behind grazing-based fire management, and the experiences of firefighters and land managers who have witnessed its impact. Through remarkable success stories and candid discussions of challenges, we uncover why this unconventional approach is gaining traction and reshaping landscapes. Wildfires have become a growing menace, fueled by climate change, invasive species, and decades of fire suppression that allowed vegetation to accumulate unchecked. In the United States, wildfires burn millions of acres annually, with California alone losing an average of nearly 400,000 acres each year to blazes. The increasing frequency and intensity of these fires have pushed communities and land managers to seek innovative solutions. Enter the goat, a four-legged firefighter with a voracious appetite for the dry grasses, shrubs, and invasive plants that act as kindling for wildfires. Goats are uniquely suited for this role. Unlike cattle or sheep, which primarily graze on grasses, goats are browsers, preferring woody shrubs, weeds, and even bark. Their ability to consume a wide variety of vegetation, including invasive species like cheatgrass, makes them ideal for reducing fuel loads. Cheatgrass, a highly flammable invasive plant, has spread across the western U.S., exacerbating fire risks by creating dense, fast-burning fuel beds. Goats can devour up to 10 pounds of vegetation daily, clearing areas that are often inaccessible to humans or machinery due to steep terrain or dense brush. By grazing, they create fire breaks, strips of land stripped of flammable material, that can slow or stop the spread of flames. The science behind grazing-based fire management lies in its ability to reduce both horizontal and vertical fuel continuity. Horizontal continuity refers to the spread of fire across surface fuels like grasses and shrubs, while vertical continuity involves ladder fuels that allow flames to climb from the ground to tree canopies, leading to devastating crown fires. Goats target both, eating low-lying vegetation and lower tree limbs up to six feet high, creating a gap that prevents fires from reaching treetops. A 2014 study published in eForest Biogeosciences and Forestry noted that targeted goat grazing, when confined to specific areas with high stocking densities, can remove up to 80% of available dry matter, significantly reducing fire risk. This approach is nearly carbon neutral, cost effective, and avoids the use of toxic herbicides or noisy machinery making it a sustainable alternative to traditional methods like prescribed burns or mechanical clearing. In California, where wildfires have destroyed homes and ecosystems, goat grazing has gained momentum. In Glendale, the fire department has employed Fire Grazers Inc. to deploy herds of 300 goats to clear 14 acres of dry brush in the Verdugo Mountains. Vanessa Romo, reporting for NPR in 2023, described how these goats tackled invasive plants and dead grasses that exploded after heavy rains, creating fire breaks that protect multi-million dollar homes. Fire Grazers Incorporated its owner, Choi, emphasized the goat's ability to navigate treacherous terrain, saying, if you try and weed whack it, you wind up getting poked in the face. But goats will come up to that, and they'll just eat it up because it tastes good to them. The result is a visible firebreak that can slow fires enough to give firefighters a fighting chance. Similarly, in West Sacramento, 400 goats have been deployed to clear two acres of brush daily. The city praised the goats' environmentally friendly approach, noting that their grazing recycles vegetation into fertilizer, enriching the soil. In Texas, John Walker, a professor emeritus at Texas and M University, proposed using goats to create 90-meter-wide buffer zones around rural communities after the 2005 Cross Plains wildfire destroyed 110 homes. His vision, highlighted in a 2024 South China Morning Post article, underscores how goats can starve wildfires by removing fuel, preventing flames from spreading. Firefighters and land managers offer compelling first-hand accounts of the strategy's effectiveness. Garrett Shawland, Assistant Chief of Cal Fire in Butte County, stated in a 2020 UC Agriculture and Natural Resources publication, 
Myself and other firefighters value livestock grazers to reduce the severity, continuity, and size of wildfires. In Mendocino County, John Bailey of the Hopland Research and Extension Center observed that areas grazed by 500 sheep before the 2018 River Fire sustained less damage to oak overstories due to reduced ladder fuels. In Utah, a wildfire with 15-foot flames dropped to 3 feet or stopped entirely in areas grazed by goats, according to a 2018 McGill University report. These accounts highlight how grazing can transform fire behavior, making it easier to control. Success stories abound. At Swanton Pacific Ranch in California, 960 goats cleared 55 acres of overgrown weeds in 2021, a federally funded project following the CZU Lightning Complex fire. Nadia Hammy, a forester at the ranch, noted that the goats made a big dent in fuel loads, though they occasionally nibbled young saplings, highlighting a need for careful management. In Colorado, Lockheed Martin employed 1,200 goats in 2024 to clear fire-prone vegetation at its Littleton facility, demonstrating how private companies are adopting this method. The Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Simi Valley was saved from the 2019 Easy Fire partly due to goats creating a firebreak, as reported by CalMatters. These examples show grazing's potential to protect both communities and critical infrastructure. Yet, Challenges persist. Budget constraints are a significant hurdle, as municipalities often lack funds to hire grazing services. In Glendale, the fire prevention budget of $76,000 limits the city to clearing only a fraction of its 500 parcels annually, according to Vegetation Management Inspector Patty Mundo. Land managers also face resistance when advocating for grazing, as it's a relatively new method compared to traditional landscaping. Lonnie Malmberg, a pioneer in goat grazing, told the New York Times in 2021 that her business relies on word of mouth, indicating a need for greater awareness. Overgrazing is another concern, and properly managed goats can damage native plants or ecosystems, as noted by Dan Glusenkamp of the California Native Plant Society. In Hawaii, feral goats have harmed biodiversity, underscoring the importance of controlled grazing with electric fencing and skilled herders. Training and managing goats also requires expertise. Herders like Malmberg and Star Creek land stewards in Marin County use portable fencing and livestock guardian dogs to control herds, moving them daily to target specific areas. A lack of skilled herders and herding dogs, as mentioned in the McGill report, limits scalability. Additionally, goats can escape if not properly monitored, as seen in a 2018 incident in Boise where 118 goats wandered into a neighborhood. These challenges highlight the need for investment in training, infrastructure, and public education to expand grazing programs. Despite these hurdles, the ecological and economic benefits are undeniable. Goats cost around $500 per acre compared to $28,000 for human crews, according to CalMatters. They enrich soil with their manure, promote native plant regrowth, and reduce reliance on fossil fuel-powered equipment or chemical herbicides. Lynn Hunsinger, a UC Berkeley professor, advocates combining grazing with prescribed burns for optimal results, likening land management to an artist's palette where goats are one of many tools. The growing demand for grazing services, as seen with companies like Living Systems Land Management and Render Ruminant, reflects a shift towards sustainable fire management. From California to Texas, and even globally in places like Spain and Australia, goat grazing is proving its worth. As Hoff of the Capella Grazing Project told the Mendocino Voice in 2020, integrating grazing with geospatial mapping and other methods could revolutionize fire prevention, protecting communities while supporting agriculture. In a world grappling with climate-driven wildfires, goats offer a natural, effective solution. Their ability to clear hazardous fuels, navigate tough terrain, and restore ecosystems makes them unsung heroes in fire-prone regions. As more communities adopt this practice, the lessons from these early adopters could change everything, proving that sometimes the simplest solutions are the most powerful. Thanks for watching. Every story matters, from the everyday to the extraordinary. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for your next world discovery. It's completely free and means the world to me. What topic should we explore next? Drop it in the comments below.
See you in the next one.